All right, let's start with the right hand. We're going to start by finding two G sharps. Now to find the G sharp, look for three black notes in a row, and the G sharp is the middle one. Okay, and we're going to be playing one without thumb, and then an octave higher with our pinky, or fingers one and five. Now the pinky is on the G sharp, that's the third one down from the top of the piano keyboard. That's when we're playing with our pinky, and one octave down from that, we'll be playing with our thumb. Those are our opening notes, and we're going to play them nice and loud. Okay, from there, we're going to take finger number four on the F sharp, three on the E, two on the D sharp, and one on the C sharp. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have... Let's play that a little faster. Okay, so you want to practice coming down like that at all different speeds, nice and slow, and also nice and quick, and even faster. And right, now from the C sharp here, we're going to go to a D sharp with finger two, and then to a C with the thumb or finger one. C sharp with finger two, D sharp with finger three, E with finger four. So we have five, four, three, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now from this E, we're going to place our thumb on the C sharp and then go to a D sharp with finger two, E with finger three, F sharp with finger four. So, so far we have and then we're going to go to a D sharp with finger one, E with finger two, F sharp with finger three, and G sharp with finger four. Okay, so we have five, four, three, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then again, we're going to do one, two, three, four, but this time on E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now I want to add in just one extra note. So when we come down from the G sharps, F sharp, E, D sharp to this C sharp, we're actually going to be playing two C sharps, one with our thumb and one with our pinky, fingers one and five. And then we continue into what we just learned. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now when we end on this A, we're going to go back to the G sharp with finger three and then play this high C sharp with our pinky or finger five. So from the E, and from the beginning, And then we're going to play the F sharp with finger two and G sharp with finger three. So from the E again, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp. And then it's going to go E, F sharp, E, C sharp. So again from the E, And then D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. From the beginning with the finger numbers. Five, four, three, two, one, and five. 
two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, five, two, three, two, five, one, two, one, five, one, two, one, five. Okay, and now I'll just do it one more time without saying anything. Okay, now let's add in the left hand. So when the right hand is playing these two G sharps, the left hand is going to be playing two G sharps as well. It's going to be playing the two G sharps that start one octave below where we're playing with the thumb in the right hand. So in other words, we're playing four G sharps in a row. Okay, and when we play the two C sharps in the right hand, the left hand is going to go down to two C sharps. So again, we'll be playing four C sharps, but this time there'll be a gap. The one in the middle isn't being played because in the right hand we go up and in the left hand we go down. So what we have is, notice the left hand is holding the G sharps until we get to the C sharps. So I just want to mention that after those first two chords in the left hand, the rest of the left hand is going to be played staccato. So the next time that a left hand note is played is during this D sharp, where we play an F sharp and an A with fingers two and one. Uh, notice how high up on the keyboard this is. And so we have... Right? And that's being played staccato, as will all of the left hand notes from this point forward. And then here on this E, we're going to be playing an E with finger three and a G sharp with finger one. So we have. F sharp and A, E and G sharp. And then we're going to play D sharp and F sharp. Right, the D sharp and F sharp are going to be played with fingers three and one. Okay, so we have. And then C sharp and E. Okay, so we have. Okay, so we have. And then when we play this next F sharp here, the left hand will play A, C sharp, and F sharp. And of course, staccato. So. And then when we play the E here, the left hand is going to play G sharp with finger five, C sharp with finger three, and E with finger one. All right, from the beginning. All right, that's G sharp, C sharp, and E there. Okay, so we have. Uh, 
And then when we play this D sharp with the right hand, the left hand is going to play F sharp with finger five, C sharp with finger two, and D sharp with finger one. Okay, so we have. Okay, let's do it again nice and slow. Okay, and again a little faster. All right, you're definitely going to want to practice this song with a metronome to get your speed up. Uh, let's do it again, even a little quicker. And again, even faster. <laughs> 